Despite the fact that I've built somewhere in the order of 200 different kinds of 3x3 modifications, I've never built a 3x3 Slim Cube. This is actually kind of strange because I've suggested the Slim Cube to a lot of different beginner modders and yet I've never built one myself, so I decided to take a couple hours in an afternoon and build one. I've been dedicating a lot of my time to some larger projects that I'll be bringing out later in this series, but I figured since I had some time, I might as well throw this puzzle together. It's really not that complicated to build though, all you have to do is cut off the top and bottom faces as far down as you can. I did have to do some modifying to the centerpiece, although I am going to be covering that in a lot more depth in a later video in this series. It's a very complicated process and it really deserves its own video. After I cut the top and bottom faces off, I filled and sanded all the pieces before stickering them up. I stickered most of the faces up with pretty much just standard stickers that I cut to size, although I've run out of white stickers so I'll have to pick some more of those up later. For now I just left the face blank, but you pretty much get the idea of what this puzzle looks like. I scrambled it up so that you could see the shape-shifted pattern, and as you can see here it, it is a shape-shifting puzzle, although it really doesn't solve any differently to a regular 3x3. The shape-shifting is mainly just for aesthetics, but I still think it's pretty cool to see what it looks like when it's scrambled. This is one of very few puzzles that I've actually scrambled up in this series. I don't usually solve puzzles, so I tend not to scramble them. But anyways, I just wanted to show a simple modification that can be tried by a beginner, although if you don't have a bandsaw, I would suggest you stick to stuff like an octagonal barrel or a fisher cube, those are always my go-to modifications to suggest for beginners, but I still think this one was pretty cool and it was worth showing off in this video. But anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.